15 Tokyo Sands. The Blue Wiggers, they come from all over the world uh, to support their team. And they've been well and amply rewarded in recent times in Vegas and in Hong Kong. And Rasta, Rasta Wenger just rubbing his hands there. It's a little cold, but uh, he's up for the occasion also, Rasta Rasta Wenger. Had a few difficult games to contend with last weekend uh, in Hong Kong. And most notably that recent quarter-final clash between uh, England and the Fiji. And an ill-tempered affair. But uh, here he is on the first one. Angus O'Brien, uh, he steps up. Uh, Tom Moss Williams uh, having been suspended for one game after the Hong Kong tournament. So Angus O'Brien gets a first start here. All uh, just lost there by a semi time snapped up by uh, Sam Cross for Wills. Jeremy Groves does the duties of the scrum half. First possession went to Wills. Let's see what they can do with ball in hand. This is Angus O'Brien to Adam Warren. He's got pace. Over the uh, Fijian 22. It's a good start, a promising start here. And Fiji on the defensive. Hands a little cold, perhaps, and Rodney Williams will curse himself for dropping that one. Well, you can see when there has been some rain over the last couple of days, and Wales, well, from their kickoff, received it, and they were on fire. And there was an opportunity. They set it up well. Probably a little bit too far, Rodney Williams, to take their pass. But just come a little bit closer. But I think the contact will be most important in this one, keeping the ball in hand. Big two or uh, pure two eye on uh, this side. They had a dream comeback last weekend, and according to Ben Ryan, there's more to come uh, from the uh, Westfield Toka Toka representative. And quickly taken by us here, calling this out straight downfield. Uh, he's the guy that scored the three tries in that dramatic comeback uh, for Fiji against Wales in the final of the Hong Kong Sound two seasons ago. Come on, come on. Fiji been concentrating on their defence in uh, recent times. We all know it was about their attacking prowess. Waiting for the first score. Jalen Groves, the captain, 26 tournaments. And possession is lost forward. Katon Imbau, the army representative. Just see how slippery conditions really are down on that field. Very hard for players to take that ball on the first take. I think also coming later on in the tournament, maybe the kick will be used here when one of these teams they start adjusting to the situation. But Simi Kunitani um, dropped two balls already. Yeah, we had some uh, light rain as we were driving to the uh, the stadium here this morning, so that's make, uh, made handling a little difficult. The surface is greasy. That the st uh, stadium, the pitch, the surface here is in uh, good condition as one would expect. Driving hard, the downfield, that's uh, Adam Warren. International for Wales. Field of it. Roger Williams, neat step off his uh, right foot. And goes a very, very, very 10 for Fiji with uh, the tackle, but it's still there. Around the blind side this time, perhaps uh, a chance for Jevon Groves. Just to get the offload. Now then, has he reached out and has he been able to touch the ball down? Or was the ball in touch? The uh, assistant referee's flag stays down. You're happy it was not in touch. Happy with the granny? Everyone happy. So Wales claim the opening score through the captain, Jevon Groves. What a great start. What a great way to play sevens against Fee Foods. First up in these conditions. Just keeping the ball close, not pushing the pass, not going too wide, making Fiji tackle them. You can see there was a good drive. They have to release three players committed by Fiji. Four for Wales, and everyone goes to the open side. And it's a good heads-up play by the kid that Jeff Groves is a year. Yeah, never mind the corner flag. That doesn't count. Oh, well, you take your luck win in these situations, and Wales, well, they've made their own luck. That's a good try. That's a confident start for Wales, and Jevon Groves in his uh, second period with uh, the uh, Wales Sevens setup, the captain. They deserve this lead. They've been down the Fiji and half of the majority of this game. They're winning our final. A lot of pressure. So Fiji really do need to take this for their own confidence. Right. The restart again. It's uh, nudged down and quickly in there is uh, Sam Cross. We see Wales do this quite often, waiting for the uh, the opposition to slip up at uh, kick uh, the uh, kickoffs and restarts. Wales in the same position. Getting the ball away there quickly was a great price and again it's Adam Warren doing sterling work. Oh, 
Yeah, he had to be a nudge forward there, but he had runners here on the wide outside, giving chase as a sun cross, looking to cut off Samisoni Biri Biri, but Fiji have struck back. Just one mistake from the breakdown by Wales. They didn't have enough numbers here, Blair got isolated. It was turned over and Fiji, that's the rotation they needed to pounce. Got it to the open spaces there at Z. nice turnover. From Semi to Kunatani. Slides up the situation nicely. It was a three-on-two situation, and when it got to this guy, he's always going to back his pace. And that makes it 16 tries in Tokyo for Samisoni Viriviri, one short of uh, England's Dan Norton. A despairing effort there from uh, Sam Cross. So the conversion is missed. Fiji and uh, Samisoni Viriviri. Uh, has tied it up. At five all. Hey! Fiji came into Tokyo uh, full of confidence, having won uh, three uh, cup finals this season on the Gold Coast. First time out in Las Vegas last month and in Hong Kong last weekend. Warren steps under the uh, tackle of Pio Tua. O'Brien spots a half gap perhaps for Andrew Williams. Goes wide. Luke Morgan, he's the uh, speedster in the, the Welsh ranks. Blank claiming the penalty and uh, gets the nod from uh, Rasta Rasavenga. That's late off of a penalty. All right. That's, well, that's the first yellow penalty. card of the day. Uh, Fuji down to six as uh, Wanga is dispatched to the sin bin. This is the opportunity Wales really need to seize upon. They've got the numbers. I think they're still with it, doing it at the moment. Just keep it close, draw the Fiji in the fence and then spread it wide. We've got to go up the middle of the park first. That was a difficult weekend for Wales in Hong Kong last uh, last weekend. We uh, lost to England first time out and uh, lost heavily to the uh, USA. Price. Back, back. Second in the Fijian defenders, releasing Angus O'Brien, and this is Luke Morgan. He's got uh, serious gas, but that's a good tackle from uh, Viri Viri. Warren. They go back into contact. And they have to go out. And that's a, a missed opportunity uh, for Wales. Punatani to two wide. How do you bring this guy to ground? Again, it's a Kunatani with support and Cross misses him, O'Brien as well. And the support is there from Katonimbao. This is uh, Jerry Tuai again brushing aside. There's some uh, weak tackling from Wales. It's still there, it's still on. And it's uh, the captain, Osea Kolinisau, who will give Fiji the lead just on the Huda for half time. Oh, that's a cardinal sin, letting a team with six players score against you when you're at the maximum. One turnover in Fiji, deep within their half, spread the ball. You've got to come up and squeeze them. They gave them too much time to run. Did Wales. And then Kunatani goes on the outside. A one missed tackle. Well, it shut the gate from there. And their players on the inside. A step takes out two defenders, gets the ball away. And a nice offload there also by Two Wide. Jerry Two on this occasion does some good work. I thought he was over. Some scrambling defense comes across by Luke Morgan player on the outside he finds him eventually in the form of his captain but Fiji just showing how good they are from turnovers but that all stemmed didn't it from the uh, penalty against Wales virtually on the Fijian try line so the conversion is good and Fiji lead Wales out half time by 12 to 5 we need to go forward eh? we can't play side to side Offloading game doesn't work side to side. Going forward in threes, wrapping around the ball and getting the ball wide, it works, okay? Yeah. You need them in, they're sniffing, they're yeah. sniffing. So let's go hard and I'll get stuff off. You'll give it a second right, and then you're off. Ryan tasted success with Fiji here 12 months ago. Uh, the bigger goal, of course, is uh, the gold medal in the Olympic Games in Rio in 2016. But first, we'll have to qualify. And Fiji are in a good position at the moment. They're in uh, second position in the table behind South Africa. And uh, 
followed closely by New Zealand. Just three points separating the top three teams with four qualifying automatically for Rio in 2016. Black. Still down to six men here. The Fijian, so Wales really do need a pounce and pounce quickly. Got to secure this kickoff. That's the main thing. 12 to 5, that's uh, Fiji's advantage at the top of the second half. Uh, Paul, well, it did travel the 10 metres. Didn't look as if it was going to. Setting off Semi Kunatani, the support is there again from the, the big man from uh, Namathia Club in Nandi. Just uh, puts a foot in touch. You just see why he is so dangerous. Just the long arms of Semi Kunatani. Now they're back up to their full complements as. The Watha comes back on, but watch him here, limited space. Look at these balls away. The kick to Neil Sierkelin. They say, Kunatani goes through two, a third one coming. Then he wraps around, keeps in support, and he just gets pushed out here by Luke Morgan. Yeah, oh, we, piece of chalk, in it? We heard Ben Ryan uh, during the interval saying, well, this doesn't work, does it? Going from side to side and trying the offload. Take the direct route, then offload, and that's exactly what Fiji uh, trying to do at the top of the second half here. But Wales have it to uh, Luke Morgan up against... Uh, Boanga, the Sinbin player. You lost it there when you picked it up. And then Fiji lose the ball forward, so it'll be a scrum for Wales. Yeah. One of you have really seen Fiji excel over everyone else in the series. Is that the breakdown? You heard Ben Ryan also speaking about make your decision, make smart ones. Gareth Williams also recognising that sometimes I've gone the blind. I've had a bit of joy there, but now the option's to go open. If they commit too many, Fiji I'm talking about in the ruts. 10 metres out from that old try line. Wales again the put in. Bryant. Long uh, kick downfield. Almost from his own try line to the opposition 22. There's hardly a breeze uh, blowing uh, uh, through the, uh, the stadium. And if there is a breeze, it's blowing from uh, across the field rather than favouring one side in particular. Very, very goes in search of uh, another try for the Fijians away he goes chased down here by Roger Williams he'll have to make the tackle here and does so good work by the Wales number six snapped up by Adam Warren to Nick Morgan can't get away on the uh, wide outside has to take it to ground once more Fiji working hard and again claiming the penalty Oh, that's a shame for Wales. They had four men right across the field. If they could have released that ball, Fiji, good counter ruck. Fiji working well, and it's the slow, patient uh, build up from Colin Isau, the captain. Great price, gets his hands on the ball. He can't uh, prevent Fiji again from moving it out to uh, Kunatani on the angle. What a lovely angle that was from uh, Rawanga. And that's as easy as that. And again, it all stems from that penalty against Wales. Two tries now from, uh, from Wales' penalties. Simi Kunitani just showing his ability to offload, his ability to draw on defenders. Watch him here. He'll just take the ball, size up the situation. There's nothing to do. He's not even moved forward to that point. Little skip jump, takes out two defenders and a nice line inside out by the right now. Right now. But the difference for me when, is that Wales at the moment are giving Fiji too much respect. They've got to go forward in their defence. They're sliding. You can't do that. See the time Kunatani's got. You've got to shut him down as soon as he gets the ball, make him go to deck and challenge it to break down and let them run too much. Yeah, Rwanga is uh, amongst the uh, the top players when it comes to line breaks. 19 to 5. That's uh, the advantage, two converted tries. Midway through the second half, the opening match on the Tokyo Sands in 2015. This is uh, Tom Williams, replacement. That's the defense I'm talking about. Fiji, they'll be coming, they're coming right up in the middle of Wales' face, so they can't go forward. Miss passes there, and there's nothing doing. Fiji had a tough route to the uh, final in Hong Kong. Defeated Samoa, England. And they do it again against the against South Africa. Okay, crowd. Fine. And uh, of course that huge clash in the final uh, against New Zealand, 133-19. And taking the ball into contact. That's uh, Kunatani, quickly snapped up by the replacement uh, Ravuvu. And 
was a little lucky, a little fortunate perhaps to get the uh, the put in here. Jeez, I think this guy's going off. Simi Kunitani usually plays in the fourth, but they bring a forward onto Fiji and he goes into the centers. Very tough to defend. Now Wales get an opportunity. Still a little bit of time. If they can score off here, two converted tries out of it. That's a long time in the game of sevens, but they need to get it off this uh, scrum here. Win. Some messages to uh, family back home on the armbands of the uh, Fijians. So of has a quick look for the ball. Is that tied up there in the pile of bodies? O'Brien on to uh, Craig Price. Has a go. The Fijians are there in numbers. Though. Harris. Placement uh, for Wills. Came out uh, in the midweek. Ben Roach uh, suffering a freak injury in training. Deep into Fijian 22 here. Out it goes uh, from uh, Rodri Davis to uh, the captain, or to Sam Cross rather, Price again. Looking for advantage is uh, Rasta Rasta Away goes uh, Tom Williams. Uh, can he get there? Yes, he can. And Wales have flawed one back and with a minute and a half remaining. Well, that's better sevens rugby from the Welsh boys because they took the ball forward, they committed, they got numbers there quickly and they cleared the ball to the space. Here it is here, nice off late. It was messy at the start, but look at this. Here's a little sneak look up, and that's great recognition. The right left foot step to go over for this conversion. Very, very important. They won't have any chance to tie this one up. Tom Williams, you see, they have a little sneaky look, didn't he? Saw that uh, Fiji and a committed and conversion miss win, so it's still a two score game. Yeah, a difficult conversion for Angus O'Brien. Wasn't uh, far off the mark. We will still need two scores and uh, with a minute or so remaining. It's uh, a tough ask, but it's not been a bad performance by Wales. Uh, those uh, two uh, penalties given away have cost them dearly. Harrison with the, uh, the tackle. On the narrow side goes uh, Raisungi. Wales have it again. Harris, uh, Williams rather, the try scorer to uh, Rodri Davis. Didn't see much game time uh, last weekend. Cross O'Brien rather on his own. Good work here. And that'll be down to the uh, referee's assistant. May well have uh, nudged it forward. White knocked it, wasn't it? He knocked it back in goal, eh? Okay. We're going to go five metres. Scrum five. I like the option they win because there's no one in behind the sweep was on the far side of the field. It was pinpoint, so it didn't go over the try line, so Fiji had to play it. Yeah, cut it over. So there goes the Hooter. The last chance in there for Wills to uh, narrow the gap. And points difference will be crucial at the end of the uh, first day. Games against England and Hong Kong to come. Good work pumping the legs is Rodri Davis. Uh, Wales only have four forwards in this squad. Rodri Davis backed up as a forward uh, last weekend and will do so again if need be here in Tokyo. Harris back uh, on the narrow side, showing good uh, strength. Ryan, cross rather. <laughs> Very similar haircuts. That's Rodri Davis, five meters out into uh, referee time at the end of the game here. Yeah. Low ball for uh, cross price to Harris. Again, they're looking uh, for pace on the wide outside. Tom Williams, a neat little dig through. That's meant for uh, Welsh number eight, Alex Weber, the speedster. And uh, Rasta Rasavenga will call time. And it's uh, a competent display from Fiji in their opening match against uh, Wales. And a final scoreline then, uh, Fiji.